Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you are watching Exposed today, February 24, 2011, and it's a quarter to midnight in Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, Democrats still in hiding, and um, that's what the subject is about tonight, and uh, I'll tell you why they're hiding I'll tell you why they hadn't voted, and um, the the truth is in the pudding, and and you'll you'll see it come together. But I want to start out and say this: Why can't we have more Glenn Becks out there? And whether you like Glenn Beck or not, I want someone to tell me the truth, and I don't care who he or she is. Right now. Glenn Beck and the Fox team seems to be the only one that's telling the truth. Now, if you say I'm wrong, just look at the number of viewers. In other words, Fox has more viewers than CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS, C-SPAN, all combined. And that's because the American people are hungry for the truth. That is the only reason because they know they can't find it on the other networks because of nothing but lying. I sat the other night and watched Chris, Chris Matthews cry like a baby because viewers are gone, but yet he's lying through his teeth. Well, wonder why the viewers are gone because he's telling a lie. And the viewers know he's lying. And and not only just him, but everybody on, on ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, and C-SPAN. Their stories stay together, and it's proven back and forth, inside out, upside down, that they're telling a lie. Nobody will pick up the phone to verify that because they know they'll have to lie face to face with the American people and they won't do it. So right now what's taking place in Wisconsin is proof positive that they are bought off the Democrats by the unions. And if they continue to do what they're doing, but I understand and I heard just today that they said they'll be in tomorrow but why in the world would they run and hide? Why would they run and hide? Why can't you fight your opponent face to face instead of running and hiding so that you don't have to vote? That's chicken crap to me. All of them. They have totally lost me. I will never again, never again vote for a Democrat because they have showed me since Obama came in and even before how 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 they kissed Obama's black butt and they're still kissing it. Obama is a liar. He's not a man for this country. Everybody in there is out for the money or they're scared of Obama just like the people in Iraq were scared of Saddam Hussein. They are afraid of Obama. And if you want to be afraid of Obama, that's, that's sad, man. That is sad. So why can't we get one diehard Democrat that will actually stand up and tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. He would be revered in this country by the American people. He would be on a pedestal. Not only that he told the truth, but also why he's been lying. That's got to come out. If it don't come out, then 2012, they're all a write-off. They're indispensable. They're going away. We don't want them back. Wisconsin don't want them back. And if Wisconsin still thinks that blood comes out of turnips, well, they got problems. 
It is the unions that's, that's doing what they're doing and keeping them fighting and keeping this hornet's nest stirred up. They're no better than Nachman Dinajad and stirring up the mess in all these countries. The union is keeping it stirred up because they stand to lose hundreds of millions and if not billions of dollars. And that is a fact. Prove me wrong, anybody. The Democrats are telling the world you cannot vote because the unions told them not to. That's pretty much what they said. That's why they went off and hid. And if they didn't say that, then come back and face it. So why won't you for once stand by and with the people who voted for you to do what is best for America? Not what's best for the unions, but what's best for America. Why don't you do this? This is what you were elected to do. Unless you're a wimp and you're still taking payoffs. And that's the way I view you. Um, but don't get me wrong. The Republicans took payoff, payoffs as well by the unions. and um, But they're there to vote. They're there to do the right thing. That's why we put them where they are. Because somebody has to stand up for the truth. Somebody has to stand up for the side of the American people. The Republicans and Democrats both took bows, but now it's time to do what is best for the United States. Come hell or high water, I will never vote again for a Democrat. You have stood by Obama and was too afraid to speak the truth, all of you. To me, you Democrats that let Obama destroy America, you will be held accountable. That is a promise. You cannot hide from what is true in Wisconsin. Democrats are, again, hiding from the truth and still taking money. And, and, and I, I can't see that you'll convince anybody that you are not or have not taken money. So um, I'd just like to see you guys go through that eye of a needle. I don't think you'll be able to. you sick of me. And the rest of America probably feels the same way. In fact, I know the majority of them do. Any how the unions, you do know you're wrong. And in my mind, you're as evil as they come. And by what you're doing, you hurt millions of people. You keep millions out of work. You too. Union officials, you too, will answer for your wrongs. It ain't going to be good. I want to see you get through that eye of the, of the needle as well. You know, it's biblical. It's easier for the camel to go through the eye of the needle for the, than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Now, let me tell you, let me explain to you really what the eye of a needle is. The eye of a needle is a crook and a gate in the walled city. The, the crook and the lowness of it is simply so that a camel cannot enter unless it gets on its knees and crawls through. So it's not like a physical camel going through a tiny eye that can't be done. But it's extremely difficult for the camel to go through that what they call eye of a needle into the city, but they can do it, meaning you can, you can, but you need to step up to the plate and admit what you're doing is not in the best interest of our country. It's in your best interest, in their best interest, but not of the United States of America. And I do not believe I am along in this thinking. Jody Wolf, Exposed.